Hello everyone, welcome to another new video from Tech Tuxedo uh, where we try to teach you guys something uh, about Linux in 3 minutes. If you are seeing my previous video you would have seen we spoke about DC possibly file, then about ATC group file. Today we are going to speak about third user file, ATC shadow file okay so etc shadow file has got entry for each user each entry each row denotes a user so if you see all the fields in the entry the first field is username so test is our username Second field is password, so if the user, that's an encrypted password, so if a user is having password, it's going to show up. If it's the user is having no password, then it's going to not going to show up. And explanation, explanation means user cannot log in into the system. Okay. Now third field, it means when pa last password was changed. So Linux has a date from which it is checking when last password was changed and that date is 1st of january 1970 so it's gonna tell you from 1st january 1970 to the date last password was changed after that is the day when a minimum number of days when user account is has to change password so it's the number of minimum number of days after which user account has to change the password so it's zero over here that means user is not mandated to change password next to it is maximum number of days allowed for a user to change password so you can see it's got nine 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 number of days for the user to change password seven you see is warning it's the warning after seven before uh, when the last seven days uh, uh, will be left to change password it's gonna throw up warning okay so zero is actually minimum number of days before which user cannot change password it's a minimum number of days uh, user has to keep its old password so if you say 30 over here then it's gonna be user cannot change his password for 30 years if he has changed just in next 30 in uh, earlier 30 days 99999 is the maximum number of days allowed for user to change the password so after with this user has to change this password 7 is the warning and when uh, there's only 7 days for the user to expire it's gonna give warning the next one is actually the next one tells how many days after uh, user has changed uh, after user has crossed this 99999 limit account is going to uh, become inactive so it's going to tell you that if if i skip 30 over here so it's 30 days after which user can change password if i give 35 over here then uh, user will get the warning because it's 7 and the password will ex will have to forcefully change after 35 days but if still user does not change then it's the number of days after uh, till which it's gonna uh, throw warning but it's gonna it's gonna let user enter and last field is the exact date from 1st january 1970 when the user when the user account is going to get expired okay guys i hope this video was helpful thank you keep watching this space for more videos Ta -da.